here we have a small little Chlorotus Ctrinopileatus yellow oyster well hidden in there I'm still thinking how I will get to harvest it it's a bit over mature because we have been a bit away this weekend to get this mushroom <laughs> but okay now uh, what I wanted to show is um, more information on the shiitake another update uh, so today I have some logs here that were drying in the sun a few days now it's in the water under the water so it's uh, soaking and so I will keep them there 12 hours and if you look well at the water you can see that there is bubbles coming at the top uh, maybe it's more clear here and somehow um, maybe after 12 hours these bubbles stop and there is no more water to soak anyway so and last week I have shown you these these blocks that were, were at exactly the same stage just like this that's the top the bottom there I have only one block that didn't react at all and one, let's say two that are not sure to make mushrooms yet over how many are there um, 13 blocks here I all prepared in the same time Um, the shiitake blocks one week after so this weekend they didn't have any care so they were like today 50% of moisture I thought that they would abort the small mushrooms some of, the, of them did like this one but most of them just grow more and looks like it's missing a bit of oxygen it's a bit too many blocks in here uh, that's a bit of this oyster in there but they are going well so now I'm back I can yeah. spray them very frequently I will show you that but they absorb the moisture look at this one it's all, almost dry uh, this one it is dry so more spray they will get if you spray them like this often they will get huge because they absorb the moisture from the cap not from the block itself that has well, not so much moisture. This one here. It's a bit light. Some of them are lighter than others, so this one is very light. It's actually ready to harvest. This is, I don't know how many here, third flush or fourth flush. It has mold somewhere, but it disappeared with this growing outside with this <laughs> low. The moisture actually the block of shiitake like this very well so this is not very good looks like a board but now there is a small one here this looks like in starting again now I'm back in that I'm spraying it wasn't there yesterday night and so you have yes a small one here ok 
Okay, each bo white bo ball, uh, each white ball that you can see, you see here, may become a mushroom if you be, keep it moist and he find the right thing like here as well. But if you you see here, it has plates, mushroom start to grow and split because it was so dry. This one made a small cut, so maybe he will make it, but this one I don't think he will make it. And this one, look how it is. Now it's wet, it's, it looks orange, it's not white. And this looks dead, the one at the bottom. At the top here, this looks okay. It looks a little like a cap. So maybe he will make it. And again, you see this pattern of different, how, uh, different depending on how you treat your um, caps in the beginning. That's the, let's say, the hard part about the shiitake because the oyster <laughs> doesn't ask anything, grows anywhere, and okay, he likes moisture, but to grow, but not like shiitake, he asks for a lot of care. So this is like too small. Uh, mushrooms and behind here this ball is more like failure failed mushroom these ones as well but he started new ones here here and I would say that Chitake is quite resilient mushroom that I see quite well um, integrate in more natural settings. So from all the blocks I made, uh, this one didn't... Ah, this one reacted. I just didn't notice. It's at the bottom there. If you can see it from here. So this one... Okay. So what they had, I showed you, I think, I mean, two weeks ago. It was a, ah, this one is at the bottom. Sometimes I like to come from the bottom. It's funny. Yeah, keep more moisture from the bottom. And uh, so what I had is to soak 12 hours, some of them even a bit more, and then put them in the fridge, I think 24 hours I let them. And then put them out here, wash, uh, let them dry a bit, wash them, and put them here, so they dry, and I wash them, I wet the environment, but it dries again, I mean, it's not like lab controlled uh, environment, and still they make it, they like it, and moles don't like it actually, so now I, what I want is to make something like this in the lab, right? Here, how it looks today. So I have this part. This is beautiful mushrooms, but look behind. It's like all the space is closed with shiitakes. Look at this. Wow. Okay, uh, most of these shiitakes are already had to harvest, so. I will go through that. Uh, look at this one, for sure, is ready. And so I have this on all these plugs. The only one which didn't react was is this one. I don't know why. Now I'm trying to soak it a bit when I water, so to try to stimulate the pins. This one has a pin right here. Up. And but the other ones all made some beans. Some of them were too wet, so they made a little bit of mold. And you see little mushrooms, little shiitakes. Now uh, what I'm gonna do 
is first to harvest this one. Now I can put it in the sun near the plants there to dry well. I will put the, if it has some mold. I will put the face with the mold. No, first uh, there is a little bit of mold here. Little bit. I think you can get it in the camera. What I will do is maybe to wash it a bit. Put it to dry. Okay, I will wash it a bit. So I use the mists instead of the shower because it's actually more aggressive. So I don't insist to not hurt the skin of the mycelium, but well, the mold spores are removed very fast. And I will give it a small wash. Now put it to dry all the day here. Maybe like this, it will dry even faster. <coughs> okay, another one. This one, maybe this one. Mm -mm. Many in there, look at this. Look at this forest. Of shiitakes. Uh, okay, this one for sure. Apla. Ah, it has mushrooms behind. Okay. Look at this one. Uh, our strain is uh, strangely making horns. Okay, now we can put the block to dry. Again, this one has some mm, mm, bit of mold. So I wash it. Put it to dry. Like this. We have more to harvest here. And again, okay, this looks more like spores on the block, this white powder. Hmm, if it has a little bit of mold, so I think I will put it to dry right away. Next one. Look at this. Oh. I don't know how many flush in this one is, maybe second, third or fourth maybe. But yeah, it like a lot the place where it was. So I try to remove the, the base of the stem to not leave any part of the stem in there or else it, it rots. So it leaves like these holes. But these holes actually cure very well. Um, and I can show you. Like this was from the first flush. The mycelium try to grow a bit, then it dries and 
I mean, if you leave the stem there, it will start molding. And yes, that's the spot here, but that's almost nothing. It's very healthy. I'm quite happy about how these blocks behave at so low moisture. They are totally cured from they are cured for mold that had maybe more before coming here and starting this sun bathing near the plants and the soil. Okay. So what is left is uh, this one. I will harvest this evening. I mean, pe okay, here we have these. Uh, this one is making new beans. And this one who is do not doing anything, if he stay here a bit longer and still don't do anything, I will put him back to dry and to wait. So, so every um, what I will do every few hours is just to come and wet the pins like this. And you see like here the crackles on the head, it's because it's it become too dry some at some point. I'm not here to do this, so and the moisture is very high here. Difficult to keep without automated system. Um, I have this uh fair light pillows that I recharge with moisture, but I'm not, it's not so efficient, actually it's more efficient to wet the whole greenhouse. Um, when all the greenhouse is wet, it has a lot of uh, surface of moisture. So it rises very high, very fast, but it doesn't stay very long. I have some mosses here as an indication of how good is the conditions. Some struggle to survive, and some are uh, is going okay. Uh, and uh, so mostly I'm just spraying blocks like this. The the new mushrooms, not the blocks. I avoid to wet the blocks most of the time. And you can see here, it's already dry. It's not even, what, one minute. But if you look well, it's actually absorbing the water from the cap, so that's why it dries so fast. Um, and what you can do if you want to boost the moisture is to wa wash the blocks themselves. So you can do it once or two, day, two, two, two times per day, but you have to let them dry afterwards and check if they dry well all around because one block like this is like, look at this, it has already a lot of mold. It's very wet. Actually, I will put it out to dry, even if it has these mushrooms. I mean, it has lots of mold everywhere. Let's take it to the sun. I'll put it to dry here. Okay. It is drying there, even it has mushrooms. I will try to keep them wet. 
so they don't abort. But uh, the only way to save this block is probably to put it like here. And once it has a very good dry skin, like this, this is very dry skin everywhere, it can't mold, it can't get mold anymore. Okay. So maybe a few hours and I will put it back with the other ones. So now they are okay. I can let them all to to wait and come back in a few hours to wet a little more the environment and the mushrooms so they will grow more and more. <laughs>